Hello and welcome. I'm Alan Titchmarsh and I'm here with the new Artistic Director of the Grange Festival, Michael Chance. Now for me, Michael, the Grange is special because I live in Hampshire. It's the most beautiful setting, this sort of Greek temple almost of, a, of an ex-stately home, riding in a wonderful landscape. And I go there, A, as a gardener and a landscape fiend, enjoying its setting, but also enjoying wonderful music, wonderful opera, ballet, all kinds of things. For me, it's the perfect concept. Combination. You, as world famous counter tenor, coming there as artistic director, what's special about it for you? Well, the same as you've just said, plus a bit more. The surprise of the whole thing. You've got this extraordinary setting. As you say, it's like a, a Greek temple in the middle of an Arcadian pastoral landscape. And then you see these two porticos, the grand one inside the main house, and then the, the lesser one with the, with the pillars and the Ionic columns. And you cannot imagine that there's an amazing world-class opera house, not huge, but big enough, sitting there secretly. And you walk inside and you hear performances there and you think, gosh, the, the, the visual aspect and the oral aspect of this theatre is fantastic. When I first went there, and to my shame, I hadn't actually been there before um, 2015, I was uh, invited with my wife Irene to go and see La Boheme, which we really, really enjoyed, I thought. And I thought, my God, this is good. I hadn't ever realised that performances here were so good. Now tell me a little bit about yourself, world-renowned counter tenor, just a sort of mini-potted biography of how you came to be where you are. Oh God, yes, the age-old <laughs> question, how does one discover? Well, I always say, well, I mean, you know, how do tenors discover they're a tenor? Well, I suppose you're born with a voice. Similarly, if you sing in a slightly higher voice, it, it's it's the one that is easiest to sing. And of course you have to develop it in the right environment, like school or church choir or university. And I did all those, those things, and sort of one thing led to another. It wasn't obvious. It wasn't an obvious decision. I went to university, sang in the choir at King's College, Cambridge, which was great, but then didn't think of going into solo singing. I was doing sort of music admin and had interviews with agents and, in fact, had even had an interview with EMI, which didn't lead anywhere, <laughs> I have to say. But There's I time, th there's time. <laughs> <laughs> I know, there is time. I mean, that was my passion, was putting things on and maybe getting into the recording industry. But, but opportunities came my way. I did them. I, you know, at that stage, you say no to nothing. You say yes to everything. And I did. And I started doing a bit internationally. And it sort of went on from there. And it also, I have to say, coincided in the early 80s with the explosion of recording through the new technology. I always remember when Ted Perry, who started Hyperion Records, one of the great independent recording producers in this country, came into a recording session I was doing with a group of us who were fresh from Cambridge University recording French songs, and he held up this shiny disc and he said, this is the future of the recording industry. And it was the first time we'd ever seen a CD, and there it was in about 1981. We're going to hear a bit of you performing in Bach's St Matthew Passion. A special piece for you? Matthew Passion is one of the great central planks of the whole um, Western classical repertory, I think, and wonderful opportunities I've had for the last 30, 35 years to perform it all over the world. And I think this recording comes from a time when we went into the maltings at Snape. We went there for 10 days and we had it all to ourselves with uh, the Montevideo Choir and John Alec Garden and all of us and Deutsche Grammophon said, yes, you know, they had money in those days. They said, you can take it over. So we had a great time. Michael Chance performing in Bach's St. Matthew Passion.